guys, welcome once again to the Panuka Agribees Hub uh, YouTube channel. Uh, this is your agripreneur, one Mr. Panuka Bruno Mwemba, uh, the CEO of uh, Panuka Farm, Panuka Agri Business Hub. It's always a pleasure for us to come through uh, on our YouTube channel to share knowledge. And uh, wherever you are, I hope you're actually having a great, great time. Um, just uh, yesterday, we actually did, um, you know, share uh, a very detailed um, video around our journey uh, in banana farming. I'm actually in the banana, you know, uh, field here. Uh, these are our bigger, you know, bananas. Um, but today, I just wanted to talk about something um, a bit different, and this is uh, the impact of uh, solar uh, intermittency. Now, um, intermittency. I don't know technically what that entails, um, you know, from a very detailed technical perspective. But the bottom line, uh, this is uh, the impact um, of you know cloud cover uh, on the efficacy uh, of solar systems. Uh, we've always been an off-grid, you know, farming enterprise, hundred uh, percent. We are not on the grid. Uh, but what we actually see, um, in our view, is that the issue of solar intermittency is actually quite highly, highly exaggerated. Uh, I know in other countries you end up actually with, um, you know, batteries, uh, using batteries um, in your farming enterprise. For us here, uh, direct from, you know, our solar systems, straight, you know, driving the water into the fields. Um, and today is a classical day given that um, it's actually very, very cloudy uh, here on the farm. But I just wanted to demonstrate um, the fact that even with cloud cover, if you actually have your solar systems well, well done, uh, obviously uh, you still get some very good, um, you know, irrigation uh, efficacy. Um, of course, um, it doesn't really, you know, operate 100% at optimal, you know, levels, um, but it still, you know, functions. Um, so let me just walk you through uh, so that you actually get to see uh, how you know the cloud cover really is uh, Guess you can actually see that uh, all the skies now are almost hundred percent covered um, But with the little you know light that's there uh, We are still able to actually you know kick in with our irrigation and you know, it's operating uh, quite um, very very you know well, so um, again, it's just to debunk uh, the impact of uh, you know intermittency um, on the efficacy of solar systems, even on a commercial scale, uh, this can actually be used. Um, I know commercial scale banana farming, you know, you'll be talking about 30, 50 hectares. Uh, but as a, you know, small holding, you know, enterprise with quite a very sizable, you know, banana plantation, um, a couple of thousand of, you know, plant stations, um, this, you know, can still be quite a very, very good technology that you can use. Um, yeah. So, yeah, no more excuses that you're not on the grid. So let me just walk you through, um, you know, the banana plantation. You see um, the irrigation uh, operating quite optimally. And I hope from today you stop giving those excuses why you're actually not hooked, uh, you know, um, on solar. Remember, with solar, you stop paying, you know, bills, but just make sure that uh, you get it right where you source um, your solar systems and, of course, make sure that you actually involve real real experts uh yeah so yeah let's just take a walk so that you see exactly what's going on with our irrigation as you can see um the irrigation is currently you know going on and uh doing pretty pretty well um and uh, all this section is actually getting you know irrigated at the moment um and the irrigation is kind of you know kicking in um, again, you can actually see how the skies are today, quite highly, highly, you know, covered. Um, but I think we're doing just fine. Um, so I hope this just helps to debunk, you know, the myth that, um, um, you know, solar uh, intermittency greatly, greatly, you know, affect uh, the use um, of, you know, uh, solar in irrigation so again you can actually see that uh, the cloud cover continues um, but then right now we are actually you know irrigating um, our mangoes 
and uh, they're doing extremely very well. Look at um, how these amateurs are operating right now. Quite some lovely, you know, spectacle, uh, but with quite some serious, um, you know, cloud cover. Look at that. Operating quite very, very, very well. So again, just demonstrating that uh, this solar intermittency is actually, um, you know, exaggerated. Um, you can actually see here um, the mangoes are enjoying themselves. Uh, plenty cloud cover everywhere you see. Um, the skies are literally, you know, covered. Um, yeah. You see that? Completely, completely, you know, covered. Um, but as you can see right here, um, irrigation is actually, you know, kicking in uh, and operating quite very, very well. So again, just uh, demystifying the impact of, uh, you know, cloud cover uh, on the efficacy of, uh, you know, irrigation system uh, that are powered by, you know, solar. You can actually see we're good. Um, no issues here. Uh, so it's not just uh, the bananas that, uh, you know, are affected. Um, but um, even here um, in the mangoes, you know, systems are operating quite optimally. Yeah. So that's uh, off-grid, you know, um, irrigation for you there. Working some, you know, magic. So the key issue again is that consult. Consult real experts and make sure that you actually source, um, you know, the right irrigation, you know, systems. I think the challenge we usually have is that, um, you know, people uh, use too much, you know, calculator um, in the efficacy of, um, you know, the various, you know, things that you get uh, to buy in terms of your, you know, best um, infrastructure. One other issue that you also need to take into account um, with, um, you know, the issue around, you know, use of solar is the fact that, um, when you've got a cloud cover, you know, such as what we have now, um, the rate of evaporation is also lower. Uh, so with the little, you know, um, water that you're actually getting uh, from, you know, the, the irrigation system uh, with the lowered, you know, efficacy, uh, that is still, you know, enough to get you around, given that there's this compensating, uh, you know, nature uh, in the fact that uh, you have lower rate of evaporation. And likewise, uh, when the solar system is actually operating at highly optimal, you know, levels, that's also the time you have uh, the highest level of, you know, evaporation. So somehow, nature, you know, gets to fix this. Uh, there's that, uh, you know, self, you know, compensating nature of how, you know, this technology and nature kind of, um, you know, uh, interact. So it's quite a very good, you know, nexus. So that's something that you also need, you know, to uh, take into account uh, on this issue of, uh, um, you know, the, the solar, um, you know, efficacy in relation to, you know, uh, cloud cover. So, you know, with some of these technologies, um, the books obviously are very critical. Uh, read them and uh, listen to the experts. Um, but what we've actually seen over time is that um, the real learning uh, when it comes to different technologies um, and different ways of doing things on a farming enterprise is actually, um, you know, informed by practice. And we've learned quite a lot uh, based on actual, you know, practice um, where we actually, you know, get to differ with what the books say, um, you know, based on firm ground in terms of how we actually uh, practice quite a lot of things. And so this is why we actually say in a farming enterprise, um, you never learn how to farm or how to use different technologies uh, completely based on the books. Um, it's actually based on action research. You actually have to get, you know, on the ground um, and then um, you actually get to see exactly what works and what doesn't. Uh, so, yeah, listen to those books and uh, some of the experts. Um, but I can actually assure you, uh, I actually prefer experts that are practitioners because some of the experts, unfortunately, are actually book or theoretical, you know, experts. So do a bit of vetting uh, on the nature of the expert that you are actually inquiring from. Otherwise, they will just offload the entire degree on you. Very theoretical. Uh, but that degree has actually never set a foot in a real, you know, farming enterprise to 
cross check whether that theory really really you know works so yeah um you actually keep hearing me emphasizing the need of action research uh, because that's exactly what um you know delivers so guys um i hope by now you've actually seen quite a number of the different courses that we've got um it's always our desire to share knowledge but you actually get a lot more juicy uh, information on farming as a business which is our focus um we don't deal with agronomy uh, but much more on farming as a business because we think that is one of the missing links um, especially for agri smes in the way they need to actually transform uh, their agricultural you know enterprises so if you go um on the panuka agri bees you know app which you can download on um you know play store uh, we're still working on the you know apple had a bit of issues um but once you download the panuka agri bees you know app right now we've got about four great great courses that you can find there the first one is around accounting and financial management um that you know basically teaches you on how to do accounting you know financial management you know set up all that the chart of accounts um and then from there you actually move to a course called risk management fundamentals for a farming enterprise this is a very critical course also just for you to see the potential roadblocks or some of the issues that might affect you know your farming enterprise along the way um and then from there we have one on fundraising uh you know strategies and options for agripreneurs so that you understand the fundraising you know landscape uh it has quite a number of you know courses close to about 50 different you know videos um and then we have the newest newest course quite loaded which is a mirror of the book that i authored um the book you can actually find it on kobo um and also on our app it's actually called farming you know as a business um you know handbook um very very you know juicy piece and i think we've gotten very good you know feedback uh from quite a number of agripreneurs that have bought that book so right now you can get an ebook within five minutes you actually begin to read and getting transformed um so this course which is a mirror of this you know book uh is actually called farming as a business blueprint how to unlock you know our factors of production for a farming enterprise so we strongly encourage you to get on that course um it has quite a number of you know um, modules there uh walking you through you know land labor capital and agripreneurship you know skills um and um, all these courses uh we actually give you the value proposition of the fact that uh, these are brought to you by your fellow farmers uh, that are actually on the ground tried and tested and so we've sanitized all the courses from all manner of lullabies and uh, theoretical you know uh, regurgitation so guys um yeah encourage you to get uh, those courses um, one at a time and uh, we can promise you that um, uh, you actually get um you know transformed so guys have a lovely one this has been yours truly bruno Mwemba ak one mr panuka signing out and uh, enjoy the rest of the video and uh, happy happy farming